Hello and welcome back to Tasha Could Make That. Today is our final video for the Wonderella Knit Along. I'll wrap things up and show off some of our participants' finished sweaters. And mine too, because I'm wearing my Wonderella that I knit during the knit along. In this knit along, we covered a lot of topics. In the first video, we learned about picking yarn and swatching. Video two was our big modifications video, and I explained all about making some design and fit customizations. In video three, we covered all about the upper body and neck options. And in video four, we wrapped up with the sleeves, button bands, and blocking. And you can refresh yourself on everything I talked about in the Wonderella playlist. I'll link it in a card in the upper right and it'll be in the description too. So all this content will still be relevant for you if you're watching this down the road. For my knit along Wonderella, I used Hedgehog Fibers Sporty Single for the fingering weight yarn and Hedgehog Fibers Kid Silk Lace for the mohair lace weight yarn. I really fell in love with this light icy blue color and I think it should go nicely with a few of my skirts or overdresses. I used vintage buttons from my stash and the knit along participants helped pick that in slack and I showed that in part 4. I knit the collar option and as you can see it's the perfect length to pop up in the back which I like to do sometimes. I didn't make any modifications to the pattern since I was leading the knit along so I kept the bracelet length sleeves and the body length as original. I really love how my finished Wonderella turned out, it's just how I hoped. Now I want to show off a few of our knit along participants finished Wonderellas. Many of you aren't finished yet or started knitting much later, and that's the nature of knit-alongs, but I'm happy to be able to share three finished projects with you. In no particular order, first up we have Penny, who goes by Vintage Vixen on Instagram. I'll link to all the participants in the description. Penny actually used vintage yarn for her Wonderella, which I think is so cool. This was an in patent cedar, which is a boucle yarn that was gifted to her from an estate. She paired it with Bellissimo Extra Fine 8 Ply. This one so makes me want to knit a Wonderella in a boucle texture. I remember during the knit along, Penny was worried she'd run out of yarn, so to avoid a game of yarn chicken, she came up with the idea of using a contrast yarn for the button bands and collar, and I think that was such a great choice and looks fantastic. In terms of modifications, she added a few stitches to the cast on for the ribbing and then decreased back to her waist. She also raised the button band a little bit more for extra coverage. I think Penny's Wonderella looks beautiful. Next up, we have Erica's finished Wonderella. You can find her on both YouTube and Instagram as Dizzy Knits and Curls. Erica used one single yarn for her Wonderella, Cascade 220 in the colorway Lemon. Could you possibly have a more cheerful color for spring? It's so cute over her banana print dress, and it really shows off how Wonderella looks great over her dress too. Erica used vintage buttons from the 1960s for her version. You'll notice right away her collar. It's a wing collar modification that I suggest as one of the customization options in the pattern, and I'm thrilled that she did it. Last but not least, we have Issa's finished Wonderella. You can find her on Instagram at creations underscore Issa underscore C. Issa followed the guidelines of the pattern to knit a fingering weight yarn and a mohair like I did, and used Sand Niscarn Sunday Petite Knit and Sand Niscarn Tin Silk Mohair in this lovely camel color. It's a perfect match for her plaid skirt, which she made from her own sloper. In terms of pattern modifications, Issa added several stitches to the waist ribbing and then omitted those stitches in the waist shaping increases, which I walked through how to do in part two of the knit along. I love how Issa's Wonderella looks with her plaid skirt. Thank you so much to Erica, Issa, and Penny for sharing their beautiful finished Wonderellas. And there we have it, the official Wonderella knit along is finished. I feel like I need to extinguish a flame or something like in the closing ceremonies of the Olympics. I've loved getting to chat with a number of you on Slack and seeing works in progress and finished photos show up on social media. The camaraderie of a knit along can't be beat. I'm not going to lie, this was a ton of work, so I hope you've enjoyed the knit along and hopefully learned a little something along the way. If you feel so inclined, you can always buy me a virtual tea on Ko-fi as a thank you. The link is in the description below. It was a real pleasure to host the Wonderella Knit Along, and if you're watching this in the future or if you're finishing up your knit along project, I'm cheering you on as you work on your Wonderella. Be sure to tag me on social media so I can see it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy knitting. Bye.